Ecosystems are a very, very delicate balance and they're very easily thrown out of sync. And where there's a, an area that's already been degraded, it becomes an ideal habitat for some of these fast-growing invasive species to come in. And then once they come in, they make it more difficult for that area to rejuvenate again. Winter heliotrope is the one that you're specifically working on? It is, yeah. That's the one that I'm doing some experimental work on to see what are the best treatments to, to, well, to control it, to manage it. And winter heliotrope, why is it such a problem? Why do we not like it? It's a plant that's been around since the mid-1800s, but it seems to have spread an awful lot in the last few years. And once you become aware of it, you see it everywhere along roadsides, embankments, where there's been roadworks a lot of the time. Any invasive loves a blank canvas to just invade and just to get in there like mad, and this is just like any of the rest of them. So wherever there is no other root systems established, it can move really quickly. And where the ground has been disturbed and loosened up, the root systems just fly through it. And what kind of a problem does it cause? Like any uh, invasive species, it's going to outcompete the native species. That's the real problem with it. This grows in winter time, so when all the other plants are dormant, it grows these big, wide leaves to take in all the light it can get. And then by the time our own native plants go to grow, there's no space or light for them to come up through. So they're blanketed out before they even start. So it's like an elbows out. It exactly. gets in there first, it yeah. grows the quickest. Front of the dance floor at the disco, you know, it's, okay. uh, it's pushing everything else out of the way. And how do we control it? So if we want to get rid of it because it's taking over a habitat, how does one get rid of it? Well, I suppose the first thing to do is to not exacerbate the problem by digging it or by digging the soil around it because you're only going to allow it to grow further. And then the work that I'm doing is trying to investigate which herbicides are the most effective and most importantly, which time of year to treat it to have the most impact because it's a winter growing plant so it's likely to be quite opposite to any of the other plants that we've researched and are used to dealing with. What should somebody do if they see this on the road verge outside their house or in your garden? I have some of it in, in <laughs> one of the flower beds in my garden. What should I do about it? Well, you can, you can treat it with herbicides if you want to try that, but the most important thing is not to disturb it, not to transport the soil that it's in to another area. And if you see it on the roadsides, I, to report it on the National Biodiversity Centre app where you can upload photographs or just record that it's present in this spot. That would be really helpful to us. We the people who use the outdoors and who enjoy the outdoors protect it so that we can enjoy it further and others can. Mm -hmm.